ancient ruins. Fear this place. Stay calm. Just don't let go. It was packed with burnt human bone all the way down to bedrock. Bones and bodies everywhere. It is like an underwater crime scene. Could these deadly depths reveal why the most powerful civilization of the Americas vanished? You are not going to believe what I found down here. Could this place be a gateway to the underworld, as locals believed? Or is there a darker story behind one of the bloodiest wars of the ancient world? Mummies unwrapped. Just recently, a mass underwater grave filled with hundreds of ancient human remains was discovered in a cenote near the lost Mayan city of Mayapur. Its existence cannot be explained by archaeologists. Locals insist these water-filled caves are gateways to the underworld. And this one is guarded by a massive serpent demon. The Maya. They were the longest lasting civilization of the Americas. Their empire encompassed the entire Yucatan Peninsula, stretching as far south as Guatemala, thriving for 3,000 years until the mid 1400s, when they suddenly and mysteriously collapsed. A cenote is a natural cave where the bedrock has collapsed to expose the groundwater underneath. This freshwater source was crucial for the rise of the Mayan culture. We found that the entire cenote was just filled with human bones. How much human bones were in there? Well, we brought up a sample of 18 skulls and a large number of, of other, you know, uh, bones from the site, and there's still a significant number in there. Well, are we talking there's, hundreds? It depends what's under the sediment. There's probably a lot more under the sediment. So, and these are Mayan remains? Yes. We, we brought some, some samples in for radiocarbon dating, and they show a range right around 1350s. These are, are folks in their, in their young 20s, in their, in their late teens, right? So folks who would otherwise be expected to be in great shape. It's a mixed sex population, which makes it unlikely to be, say, a whole bunch of people who died in combat, right? These would be warriors who would be all male. Do you know how they died? We expected we might find evidence of violence, that these people have been killed in some sort of attack. But we find no evidence of that at all. Hmm. And is there any reason to believe that it was a mass sacrifice? We don't really have any evidence for that. You see a variety of forms of sacrifice, decapitations or heart extractions. The Maya believed that their gods were nourished by human blood, and that the sacrifice of a human life was the ultimate offer. Over a thousand years, hundreds of thousands of victims lost their lives to this brutal violence. They believe that Cenote specifically had a serpent guardian. Absolutely. The Mayans believe this massive feather-covered serpent, Kukul Khan, was the supreme leader of all gods and could bring great suffering on humans with this power. Just don't let go. So many human remains ended up in this cenote that their weight helped collapse a part of the floor and created a second chamber. Be sure to stay low. Wow, that's pretty narrow. It's like an underwater crime scene. Cranium. I'm gonna fan this a little bit so we can clear a little bit of the sediment. It is amazing how well preserved these bones are. There are skulls and bones everywhere. Not only did people here fear the deadly snake god Kukul Khan, they also built a monument to him in the very center of Mayapal. Wow, look at that. This is the Temple of Kukul Khan. It's also called El Castillo, the castles. And it's a monument to, to the feathered serpent, to, to Kukul Khan. According to legend, Kukul Khan, the feathered serpent god, gave mankind laws. 
ruling families got their power from Ku Klux Klan, who symbolized the divinity of the state and served as a messenger between the kings and the god. But like all Mayan gods, he required sacrifice. Essentially, they would be spread out backwards over the stone, and that would expose their chest so that they could get underneath the sternum and pull out the heart that way. Here, like in public? It's always public. But it's also really important to understand that they were a way for the state, or in this case, a particular lineage, to show their power to the people and to remind them who was in charge. At this time, a great civil war was raging in Mayapal. The rulers used public sacrifices as a show of force and displayed bodies all over the city. So this is the, the crematory. Crematory as in people were cremated in here? It was them? packed with burnt human bone all the way down to bedrock. They burnt them here, they decapitated them there, they took their beating heart out of their body right there. It's quite brutal. It is. And very much a show of power. If you want to uh, assert your authority over a population, over an entire peninsula, Kill them in it's an effective ways. way to do it. None of these is anywhere close to the human remains that we found in the cenotes. No, the Sakwayam collection looks very different. Is that why you believe that the cenote human remains were not sacrificed? Yeah, I, I, you just don't see the evidence for it there the way you do in other very clearly sacrificial deposits. This city is pretty much just a big graveyard. Literally is the graveyard. If those bodies aren't sacrifices, then what are they doing in the cenotes? The cenotes provide water, so why would anyone dump bodies in the water source? A battle for power was raging. Could it have been an act of war to spoil the water on purpose? We know that disease and viruses contributed to the collapse of the mire. Poison and other forms of biological warfare have been around for centuries. As far back as 590 BC, Athenians poisoned the water supply of their enemies. And during the Middle Ages, Genghis Khan used plague-infested bodies as weapon against his enemy. And if these cenotes are connected, contamination of water could have spread all over Mayapan. Is it possible that the plague that brought down the Maya was spread intentionally? There are thousands of cenotes around here. I know, but the cenote I'm looking for has to have four specific things. It has to be near the mine wall. It has to be near Sakwayum. It has to be outside of the old city of Mayapan, outside the wall. And it has to be deep and somewhat hidden. There are cenotes hidden around here. We will find them with this lighter. Perfect, that's what I'm looking for. Let's do this. Let's do it. We have four cenotes right here. One, two, three, four. Are the closest to Sakwayu. Okay. Just keep a keep a check on your breathing. Yeah, 
Mayapan fell. Warring factions violently tore each other apart. I believe that they also used biological warfare. And this confirms that my theory could be true. The most barriers down there. Uh, it sounds like it's a very similar situation to Sacquean. All of these cenotes are connected. And if you control the water, you control the city. How strong they were. They built massive temples and incredible cities. It is very possible that they also understood the idea of biological warfare. And that during this great civil war, it helped tear the city apart and caused their empire 